Good morning, Baptist Temple. Good morning, all those who are live streaming. Um, we just give God praise this morning for yet another day oh, yes. that he <laughs> has raised us from our beds uh, and given us an opportunity to worship him. I'm always grateful um, for collective moments of worshiping the Lord. Even though I give him glory all week long, there's something about coming together, whether we're just coming together streamlined or whether we're coming together uh, as a church um, together physically, um, but we're not able to do that now, but we're still able to give God some praise. And I'm just going to ask that right now where you are, just raise your hand, clap your hands and give God some praise for the great things he has done. We love him, we praise him, and we magnify him for his awesome goodness toward us. Um, before I go any further, I do want to acknowledge um, some things. Um, I just want to say happy birthday, Deacon Barber. Woo! Brother, we love you. We thank God for you. We pray God gives you many more years. You know how dear you are to this pastor and to me personally. I want you to know I love you and I thank God for you. Happy birthday, my friend, and we give God the praise and the glory. I also want to thank um, uh, Sister Doris Israel and yes, all of God. the Pastors' yes. Aid. We yes. celebrate Pastors' Aid Day today. God bless you. I'm so grateful for all of your sacrifices. You have shown your love toward this pastor in so many ways. Uh, I just want you to know, Doris, uh, I thank God for you. You have come through in so many ways for your pastor. And I want to thank all of the pastors. Hey, we love you. And we celebrate your day as well today, along with Deacon Barber. Then I want to thank um, all of Baptist Temple and all of those involved in the great love that you showed to me and to Deacon Barber. Uh, on yesterday with that drive-by, you brothers and sisters set me up, and you set me up good. <laughs> I, <laughs> I literally was on my way home, and, and uh, Sister uh, uh, Darty called me and said, Pastor, I need you for one more thing. I need to tell you something else. I'll come back, and y'all just blessed me with the drive-by. My spirit was so blessed, I started tearing up. And I just give God the praise for each and every one of you. I love you from the depths of my very heart. I know I serve a good God every time I meet you guys. Every time I get to see you, I know that I'm serving an awesome God. So we give him praise. We give him glory for being our God and our keeper. At this time, I'm going to ask if First Lady Williams would come uh, and read scripture for us. Uh, and have prayer for us this morning uh, also and after that we're going to try to have a selection and then we're going to try to share the word of God with you God bless you First Lady Williams Good morning Baptist Temple glory honor and praise to our God for his great and marvelous me uh, mercy toward us yes, it's yes, a privilege yes. and an honor to be able to read his holy word I will be reading from the NIV version, that's Mark, the 10th chapter, starting at verse 46 and concluding at verse 52. Again, that's Mark, the uh, 10th chapter, verse 46, and concluding at verse 52. Amen. Then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called to the blind man, Cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped up to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, 
I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Thus ends the reading of God's holy word. Amen. Let Amen. us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you humbly, Lord God, giving you the name, giving uh, you the praise, Lord God, for how good and kind and merciful you have been. We thank you, O Lord God, for one more time that we could come together and, and worship. We thank you, O Lord God, for this, Lord God, your servant who will deliver your word. We thank you, Father God, even for this honor and privilege, Lord God, to work alongside him. We pray, oh Lord God, that you would touch us in a, a mighty name of Jesus, that your word, Lord God, might go forth today, that your prayer, Lord, our prayer Jesus. might be heard, yes, that Lord. our supplication might be made known unto you, that our families might, might be blessed and healed, that we might be strengthened, oh Lord God, through the word today. We pray, oh Lord God, that you would forgive us of our sins, our trespasses and our iniquities against thee. We pray, oh Lord, now in the name of Jesus, that you would open our eyes, Lord God, yes, that we Lord, might yes. see, Lord God, your glory. We yes. thank you, Lord God, in advance as we pray for our families, if we, we pray for our loved ones, as we even pray, Lord God, for our enemy, that you, Lord God, might be in the midst of us. Help Jesus, us, God, Jesus. Lord God, to yes. render yes. ourselves ineffective, Lord God, and uh, just totally trust you for every good yes. and perfect yes. gift come from you. Thank you, Lord God, now in advance for your love. Thank you in advance for your mercy. Yes, Thank you Lord. in advance for your kindness. In the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Our hearts say amen. 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 God bless you, First Lady Williams. We are grateful for that reading of the scripture. We're grateful for, her, for that heartfelt prayer. Uh, at this time, we're going to try to have a selection uh, from the Baptist Temple Church. I wish you could see the video uh, for this. It was just a beautiful video. It was my anniversary. My pastor, uh, Reverend Dr. Guy Campbell, was at Baptist Temple, and our choir was a combined choir. It was a choir on both sides of the pulpit. Uh, my wife and I were sitting on the second row, and we were just enjoying a Baptist Temple under the leadership of the choir, under the leadership of Sister Joyce McCoy. Our musicians were doing an excellent job, and I just want you um, to share uh, this video. God bless you.
Yes, yes, yes. We give God praise with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our souls, with all of our spirits. We give God praise. So we thank God yet for another morning, another opportunity to worship him and to magnify him. I'm going to read uh, the scripture again uh, that First Lady read. Um, we're coming out of Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. That's Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. And I'm reading from the NIV version today. Amen. God bless you. Then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging, begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I can feel that already. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted over all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man, cheer up on your feet. He is calling you. That's good news already. Anybody glad the Lord called you Thank out of you darkness? God. Thank you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. Jesus saying, what do you want from me? Jesus asked. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. I want to talk to you this morning from the thought getting the attention of Jesus. All right. Getting Jesus' attention. Mm -hmm. Getting Jesus' attention. At this point in the text, uh, Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd was leaving Jericho and they were on their way to Jerusalem. You ought to get a little background as to what is going on. At this point, Jesus is on his way to the Jerusalem for the last time. My Lord, my Lord. We know that he died in Jerusalem. We know that he gave his life for us in Jerusalem. And he's leaving Jericho on his way to Jerusalem when he sees a blind man begging on the side of the road. Help us, God. Bartimaeus, when he saw Jesus passing by, he couldn't hold himself back anymore. And he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Uh, there were two Jerichos at that time. There was the Old Testament Jericho that, that, that Israel marched around seven times and it was destroyed. And there was the new Jericho that was rebuilt by, by Herod um, for his hangout place. And mm -hmm. now we consider this text to be a text dealing with the old Jericho. And, and at that time, that old Jericho was considered a bad place, a rough place. Um, and, and many would have written that place off, but for some reason, Jesus came to that Jericho. Thank you, God. Thank Jesus you. didn't write it off, but other people wrote it off. It's interesting because we know that this temple that I serve, our church is set up in the city of Camden. Mm -hmm. And it's a city that has been written off by many people. My Lord. But even in the midst of the difficulty that's been going on the last few weeks, when we look at CNN, Camden was recognized at, as a city that, that got ahead of the situation. Come on now. Ahead of the situation, thank to our police chief, Wasaki, and all of those great officers that came together and said, we're going to have a peace march Come on. before 
the difficulties come to this city. And we were recognized on CNN and, 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 and where others may have been writing us off, we thank God that we didn't get rid off and we got recognized by CNN. God has a way of blessing our city even in these difficult times. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I want to say to those who may feel that they have been written off, I want you to know that God has not written you off. Jesus has not written you off. Don't write yourself off. That's right. Many might try to write you off, but Jesus won't write you off. You just keep trusting in him. I want to say for the 2020 graduates, I am so proud of each and every one of you. You didn't write yourself off. You hung in there mm -hmm. and you graduated. Thank and we thank God, God for each and every thank one of you, especially you, those from the Baptist Temple Church. Thank we you, want to God. thank God for you. But I also want you to know that this is not the end of the story. Mm -hmm. Don't continue to write yourself off. You continue to go forward. Your future is still bright. But Bartimaeus was blind and he was left on the side of the road begging. My God. I find that not only some are blind physically, but there are some who have their natural sight, but they're still blind. Say it, Pastor. Many can be blind in relationships. You know that person's not good for you, but you still blindly go with them anyhow. Mm -hmm. Many are blind from fear, can't step out in faith, can't trust God because you've made your Goliath bigger than your God. Some are blind spiritually. Uh, you don't even want to try Jesus. You're so arrogant until you feel like I got this. Help us, God. Help us. And you need to open your eyes Help and realize us. you need Jesus in your life. Yes, yes. Some of us are selfishly blind. That that's where we that's where we 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 get to the point where we can only think about ourselves and be blind to the needs of others. Say it, Pastor. I think that's going on in our country even Say right it. now. And I want to encourage you to open your eyes. There has been a uh, systematic uh, racism going on in our country for hundreds of years and people <laughs> have turned a blind eye to what's going on in our country. And I need you, God needs you to open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Stop saying, uh, well, it's not that bad. It is that bad. Mm -hmm. Stop saying, well, as long as I'm not affected, you are affected. You're a human being just like we are. And you need to open your eyes, take the blinders off and open your eyes well, and sir. realize that there are pain and suffering that's going on in our country. Open your eyes and speak out. But in the text today, blind Bartimaeus, his life was about to change mm -hmm. because Jesus was passing by. Mm -hmm. Verse 47 says, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he cried out. Come on. Uh, by the way, Bartimaeus um, wasn't a, a personality seeker. <laughs> wasn't caught up in just personalities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, when he heard it was Jesus that was passing by is when he cried out. He didn't say it was John passing by. Mm -hmm, he, mm -hmm. he didn't say it was James passing by. He didn't say it was Peter passing well, by. Well, he said when Jesus of Nazareth passing. was passing by, he called out Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. How many know that sometimes we can get more caught up in the messenger than we can about the message? All right. I, I don't care who you are and what you have achieved and, or how big your church is. If you're not preaching Jesus and him crucified, I don't need to Say listen that. to you. Say that. Say that. If you don't preach Jesus and him crucified, I don't need to be going to your church. I don't need to be listening to your stream line. I need to hear about Jesus mm -hmm. and him crucified. Uh, let, let, listen, Paul can't save you. Peter can't save you. I can't save you. Only Jesus can save you. 
Listen, uh, Baptist Temple, and everybody listen to me right now. Well, if I fall on my face and I ruin my life and I become a total disgrace, I want you to forget about me and you keep following Jesus. Because I found out that he's the way, oh, yes, he the is. truth, yes, and the life. And no yes, one comes is. unto the Father yes, but by is. him. Doesn't matter what Peter does. Doesn't matter what John does. Doesn't matter what I do. It matters what Jesus does mm -hmm. and what he can do in your life. Blind Bartimaeus was also an opportunist. Mm -hmm. When he heard Jesus was passing by, he cried out. Now, there were those who wanted to shut him up. There were those who told him oh, he ought to be quiet. There were those who said, you need to stop crying out to the Lord. But blind Bartimaeus wouldn't give up on Jesus. All right. Um, but what he, uh, what I loved about blind Bartimaeus is that he didn't give up. Now, he didn't know everything about Jesus, but he knew that Jesus had had healed somebody's blindness before. Mm -hmm. And he, he stepped out toward Jesus on what he knew about Jesus. Well, well. How many of us uh, in our lives uh, would work out better if we would just step out on what we know Thank you, God. about Jesus? Thank you. Now, I might not know about hermeneutics. I might not fully understand eschatology mm -hmm. uh, 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 or soteriology. I, I might not understand those uh, big words, but one thing I do know about Jesus, he's been mighty good to me. Say that. And I'm going to step out on what I do know about yes, him. He, yes, he's pastor. been good to me. Yes. He's been merciful to me. Yes. He's been loving to it. I'm going to step out on what I know about Jesus. He's been a, a gracious toward me. He picked me up when I was down. He, matter of fact, he woke me up this morning, laid me down last night. You, and I'm going to step out on what I know about Jesus. Now, I might not know what you know, mm -hmm. but I know enough to serve him. Mm -hmm. I know enough to follow him. That's right. And I'm going to step out on what I know about Jesus. Uh, he's been mighty good to me. Blind Bartimaeus cried out in desperation, Jesus, son of David, mm -hmm. have mercy on me. He, he realized that his situation was beyond his control. Uh, he couldn't see and he knew it was nothing that he could do about it. So he called out to someone who could do something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about it. Thank you. You know, some people uh, don't even realize how messed up they are. It's funny because a lot of times you can see how messed up they are. But for some reason, they don't see how messed up they are. They don't see how bad their addiction is. They, they don't, don't see how bad their thinking well, is. Lord, well, you Lord, keep putting well, yourself Lord, well. in this situation because your thinking is off. They don't see how messed up their relationships are. You keep going from one bad relationship to the next. They don't see how bad their attitudes are. They don't see how bad their Bring habits now. are. You see how bad Come it on. are, but they don't see. Mm -hmm. So Bon Bartimaeus realized um, that he was in a desperate state. Yes. And that things were out of his control. So he called on Jesus. Uh, Bon Bartimaeus realized he needed Jesus. So he came crying out. Thank you, Lord. Verse 48 lets us know some, listen, some tried to shut him up, but he cried out even more. Uh -huh. But yeah. also in verse 50, it says that uh, uh, throwing off his cloak, uh, uh, he came jumping up and coming to Jesus. Listen, uh, don't let no one keep you from seeking the Lord. Well, well, uh, well. Don't let no one say that you can put it off until next week. Mm -hmm. Don't let no one tell you to stop praising the Lord. Now, right, you right. might not want to praise him, but don't hinder me because I already know what God has done for me. Say you can't that. shut Say me that. up because I'm going to give God the praise. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to 
seek the Lord. Now, you might want to shut me up, but you won't shut me up. And blind Bartimaeus said, I don't care what you say. I'm going to still call out to the name of Jesus, for he's worthy to be praised. Uh, too many of us give up on the Lord too soon. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. My Lord. So you be quiet. Too many of us put the Lord off until tomorrow My Lord. Uh, on the verge of a blessing, but then you give up Have mercy. on Jesus, on the verge of a breakthrough, but then you give up too soon. He, he didn't come in when you wanted him and you forget, but that he's always on time, but you gave up on him Say too it, pastor. soon. Say it, pastor. Seek the, listen, I need you to seek the Lord through your storm. I want you to seek the Lord while the not while the storm is raging. I want you to seek the Lord yeah, in yeah. your pain. I need you to seek the Lord through your trial. I need you to seek the Lord in your adversity. I want you to seek the Lord while you're broken. Say it. Say Don't it, give up on the Lord too soon. Mm -hmm. uh, don't give up on Jesus. Because I don't know about you, when I read this story, I find out that he didn't give up on me. He didn't give up after one slash across his back and said, I'm not going to do this Hallelujah. no more. He Hallelujah. didn't give up when the thorns were Hallelujah. pressed down Hallelujah. on his head. He kept going forward. Thank he didn't give up and when Thank one nail was Thank driven in his hand and said, this is not worth it. He didn't give up when they pierced him in the side Hallelujah. and said, I'm not going Hallelujah. no further. He went to the cross, died for our sins. He didn't give up on us and we should not give up on him. I'm going to seek the Lord. I, I heard somebody say, I'm going to serve him until my change come. I'm going to seek him until my change oh, bless your name, come. God. Thank you, Jesus. But wait a minute. Verse 49 says, Jesus stood still. In the NIV, it says, Jesus stopped after he heard Bartimaeus called Merciful God. his name. Merciful God. This was a blind man. Merciful God. And this was a man on the side of the road. Merciful God. Who most would have ignored him. But Jesus, on his way to the cross, mm -hmm. stopped when a blind begging man called his name. Glory, God. Glory. I don't know about you, but that's just good news to me. Thank you for hearing me, God. Because what he could have said is, I don't have time for you. Thank you for hearing me. Uh, that's what we would have said. Uh, I got better things to do. I got more important things to do. Thank God he didn't put it off and said, I might be back and check on you. Mm -hmm. When he called his name, it got Jesus's attention. Yes. Bon Mortimeus got Jesus's attention. Listen, when we, when I, when, when, when um, my kids were little and I could have been in a crowded mall and they had strayed away from me. When my children called my name, I don't know about you, <laughs> but I would have heard well, their voices. Well, well, and well, wherever well, I was, well, whatever I was doing, yeah, I would have stopped yeah. in my tracks and responded Thank to you. my children's call. Thank you, because there are my children. My wife and I brought them into the world. And, and if they had called my name, I would have responded well, by stopping well. in my tracks. And thank God we serve a God who can hear our voices. When we cry out, he hears our voices. And thank God he hears our voices. And, 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 and when Jesus stops, mm -hmm. when Jesus well, stands well, still, Pastor, well. it means that something good is about well, to happen. Well. When Jesus stands still, help is on the way. When Jesus stands still, sight comes due to blind. When Jesus it, stands still, it, restoration it, is on the it, way. It. When Jesus 
stand still. Your deliverance is on the way. When Jesus stands still, thank God, hope, joy, and peace is on the stand still. Savior, I need your attention. Hallelujah. Healing is on the way when Jesus stands Thank still. Thank you. Blind Bartimaeus received his sight Thank you. because of his faith. The only reason he called out is that he believed that Jesus was able to do exceedingly and abundantly. And I want to encourage you today, whatever you're going through in your life, you stand still and call on Savior Jesus Christ. Call him in faith, believing that he's able. I want you to know that your trial's not bigger than him. Your storm is not bigger than him. Your Goliath is not bigger than him. He's able to do you through your storm. He's able to bring you out and bring sight to your life. I'm so glad that there was a day yes. that I said, I can't take it no more. Yes. And when I called his name, he stood still mm -hmm. for me. Yes, and Father. I got his attention. Yes, Father. Then the text says, and I, I love this part, um, because the text don't end there, um, because a lot of times we read the text, and, and it's only important until the fact that Bartimaeus received his sight. Uh, but the text goes on to say that after he received his sight, he followed Jesus. Come you, on. you need to get Come on. that. Come on. If he's done something for you, Come if on. he saved you, if he has delivered you, if he's brought you through some difficult times in your life, you don't need to treat him like ShopRite. You, you know what we do with ShopRite, right? We, we go to ShopRite, get what we need, and leave. We don't follow ShopRite. ShopRite's not on my, my Facebook page. Mm. I don't have ShopRite's phone number in my phone. I don't call on ShopRite in the times of storm. I don't pray to ShopRite at night. And you need to stop treating Jesus like he's ShopRite. I want you to know that when you come to him oh, and yes. he's done something for you, you are to listen, follow him, and give your life yes, to him. Sir. You are to yes, serve yes, him sir. and you ought to praise him. Bartimaeus said, Lord, you gave me sight. But that's not the end of the story. I'm going to follow you for the rest of my life. Yes, God. I want you on my Facebook page. Yes, God. I want you the first number in my phone contact. <laughs> I, I want you to be the first one I call in the time of trouble. I, yes. I want to be able to tell you I love you when everything's going fine. I, I want to lift my hands to you even when there's no storm in my life. I don't want to just be healed by you, but I want to follow you. Yes, Lord. Jesus stood still while he was there on the cross. Jesus stood still mm -hmm. and died there on the cross. He laid in the grave and he stood still Friday night. He laid in the grave and stood still Saturday and Saturday Thank night. You, oh, Lord. but early Sunday morning, Thank you, I think there was a rumbling near the grave. And, and from my understanding, the angels came down and rolled the stone away and Jesus stepped out with all power in his hand. And I don't know about you, I understand he's seated at the right hand of the Father even right now. And that's the Jesus I'm going to follow till the day I die. For God I live yeah. and for God I'll die. Mm -hmm. Getting the attention of Jesus. You want to know how to get Jesus' attention? Make him first. Thank you, Lord. Make him first in your life. Thank you, Father. Make him be the one you call on. Make him be the one you praise. Make him be the one you serve. Mm -hmm. Make him be the one you glorify. If you want his attention, Make him first. 
No one comes unto the Father but by me. You can't be saved but by him. But by him. Be an opportunist. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of opportunities to know yes. him. Take the blinders off yes, God, and me. see him for the great God that he is. Yes. You want his attention? Make him first. Get in Jesus' attention. Well, got good news for you. <laughs> if you truly want him to be first in your life, mm -hmm. get his attention by giving your heart to him. Even right now. Yes. Does he love you? Absolutely. Does he care about you? Absolutely. Can his attention be gotten? Absolutely. He loves you right where you are. I say it all the time. But, but I'm going through so much and I've, I've done so many bad things. Get in line. Mm -hmm. My Your Lord. smallest sin My Lord. would separate you from him. My Lord. But he said, come as you are. I'm not going to leave you as you are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save you and make you my child. Yes. God. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe. and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For he or she Thank you. who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, he does love you in your trial, in your storm, in your pain, regardless of your past, in the midst of your brokenness, he loves you. And his arms are wide open mm -hmm. just for you. On the roadside, begging, blind, call his name. He will hear you. Let us pray. Father. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We come humbly before you. Praising you, God. We come, Father, realizing our dependency upon you. Father, we understand we can't do this by ourselves. Like blind Bartimaeus, we're calling on your name even right now. Father, we're calling on you in our pain, in our brokenness, in our hurt. Father, we're calling on you, Father, with an ugly past. My Father. We're calling on you, Father, with an ugly presence. My Father. But Father, our future is bright in you. So Father, in Jesus' name, right now. Right now. I ask that you will meet that person listening to me. Yes, God. Right where they are, Hear Father, me, God. Hear me, God. they're struggling, Hear me, God. sitting on their bedside. Hear me, God. They're struggling, Father, sitting there in the couch, on the couch. My they're God. struggling, sitting there at the table, Father. They're Hear struggling, me. sitting there in the chair. They, they're struggling, Father, in finances. They're struggling in their health. Have mercy, they're struggling God. in relationships, Have Father. Mercy. They're just struggling in their minds. Have mercy. Things just aren't right. Let them call on you. Because I know that when they do, you will stop and listen to them. And you will heal them of their situation. Thank you. Thank you. For being that God who hears my broken pain. Who hears my weeping voice. Who sees my tears. Who understands my pain. Thank you for being that God. Thank you for with God that when I call you, I can get your attention. We give God praise. We give God glory. I'm going to ask right now that each and every one of you listen to me right now. Seek the Lord because he can 